In this video I'm going to talk about the uh, static content or uh, better or newly called hero scenes. I will talk about all of them and uh, explain what uh, each look like and what they uh, display. Now if you're wondering why st the name static content or why the uh, the hero scenes well hero scenes are uh, trendy uh, name used in modern uh, web design while static content was the name uh, added uh, for these types of uh, elements back in the previous uh, versions so um, basically this these elements are neither uh, sliders they're neither uh, subheaders they're not uh, sections they're just blocks of different content with uh, uh, nice uh, nice options and nice uh, layouts so moving on in this video I'm going to talk about the static content text pop element so I'm going to access hero scenes and open text pop menu item now if you you probably uh, haven't seen the what this actually does well as you can see uh, it adds this um, scaling perspective uh, uh, effect with a shadow and uh, this uh, info box uh, right here now this element is very simple it's uh, just has a few a few just a few options so I'm just going to edit the page and uh, edit with the uh, page builder and uh, as you can see we can add uh, a custom height right here we can um, enable full screen if you want if so if I enable full screen by default uh, the custom height will automatically be disabled so we can also have um, scrolling effect right here uh, currently yeah it's uh, enabled it's to translate and fade now don't confuse translate with uh, language translate they are different they have d different meanings translate in this context is uh, just a CSS property which will maintain the position of this element onto the center of the entire element as you can see it's like the the element is just squeezing and uh, this uh, the con the content is uh, is remaining into the center but it's actually going down uh, depending on the parent uh, sorry depending on the scroll position so basically we can uh, we can uh, have this uh, effect we ha we can have also multiple effects like uh, even scale which will scale the background let me just enable this one yeah i will just publish this and view it into another page so as you can see the background is scaling and this uh, the, the texts are uh, just fading and uh, and that's it so moving on with the options uh, you can uh, you have uh, text area fields for each line of these you have the line 1 line 2 line 3 and line 4 which are these ones of course if you don't add the uh, text for one each just won't appear into this uh, list then we have the info box info bubble um, uh, settings like uh, the button main text right here exclusive on team force the button link text the it's actually this call to action uh, button this buy now button and you have the button link this uh, the link for this uh, button right here now it points to the uh, team forest uh, Kalias uh, page and I also select a new window as a target uh, 
as a target for the link and then we have the uh, background and styles options uh, this will cover the background uh, options and the as you can see here this mask options because it can be changed to other masks but I will talk about these uh, these uh, settings into another video because they are common between um, between elements and uh, I thought I should instead of I don't know covering 10 minutes in each video I should just make one video and uh, uh, talk about these uh, these uh, options so just look for the background options for elements uh, video and uh, you should uh, find everything you need about this uh, these uh, settings so that should be it if you have any questions feel free to contact me and if you have any troubles with this element uh, try to subscribe on our su support forums and my colleagues will uh, will uh, um, assist you there so thanks for watching and see you in the next one